What's up YouTube? Today in this video I'm going to be showing you and explaining how often your zaps are running on Zapier. If you haven't used Zapier very much, this is a great introduction to some of the automation features and just like how Zapier works. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so real important before we get started here, if you do have a Zapier account, you'll want to go check out this one piece of data. So over here in the left hand side of the screen, you can see starter plan 750 tasks. Um, so you want to go over here and check to see what plan you have. And then what you'll do is you can just keep watching and look at this, or there's a link down in the description for the Zapier pricing model. And just to go through this right now, so there's these five different plans and there's all these different options you can have. So like you can pick how many tasks you want. And also there's the features of the plan. So right now on the last one, on that last screen, we saw that I'm on starter. So you can come down here and look at whichever plan you have. You can see the update time and that is how often, how fast Zapier runs. So on the free plan and on the starter plan, it's every 15 minutes. On the professional plan, it's two minutes. So every two minutes, it'll trigger. Uh, on the team plan, it's one minute. And then for a company who pays $600 a month, if they pay yearly, they'll get one minute as well. So right now, you can see I'm on the starter plan, so it's every 15 minutes. And also, I wanted to talk about what that means for multi-step zaps. So if you have a zap that is like three steps, say, you have a trigger and then you have two actions or you have three actions, that trigger will do all of the actions at once. So it'll trigger and then it'll do action, action, action. It won't, it won't wait 15 minutes between each action. So that's just something to keep in mind if you have like the free plan say, and you have like three different zaps that all have the same trigger, you could just move up to the starter plan, it's not too expensive, and you could have everything done at the same time guaranteed, uh, and you get the more tasks and stuff. So, but yeah, if you just go in the description, you can click this link and you can come to he here and you can figure out based on which plan you have, how often your zaps run. So whether it's 15 minutes, two minutes, or one minute, and you can upgrade from here as well. Another thing to note is if you don't want to jump all the way up to like the next pricing level, then, but you do still want more tasks. So say you run out of tasks, you can upgrade from like 750 tasks to 1500 tasks here. And you'll still have the same amount of time in between like it checking for a trigger, but you can do it a little bit cheaper and you can get some more tasks. Whereas it's like a no brainer to switch up here for that $10 a month to have that many more tasks and that small of an update time. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions about how often your zaps are running, then throw them in the comments, but I hope this helps. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found this super helpful. And if you want more resources like this or like tutorials on how to use Zapier or how to use Airtable and how to integrate a bunch of apps, hit, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, go to my channel and check out some of my other videos. There should be some playlists with a lot of Xavier videos, so go check those out, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.